Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. Today we are doing um a kind of a different we're doing a review, this time not on Pixel Gun and 3D or Nerf guns. This time it's gonna be on a device. Um you've probably heard of it if you haven't. How which rock do you live underneath? Anyway, so we're doing a review on the Amazon Alexa or Amazon Echo. This is the small pod one, um this one here. It's got a nice blue ring. I got it for Christmas and I had to set it up myself, so like it was really difficult. So let's see um how far it can hear me from. So test number one. Alexa. No, maybe not. Alexa. Okay, so it can hear me from quite a while away when I'm talking very quietly. Okay, let's go a bit further away. Let's try it now. Alexa. Okay, so it can hear you from very far away. Um, let's see um, how fast it can respond to. So we're going to ask it a question and see how... We're going to ask it a mathematical question and see if it will answer it. Quickly or slowly if it takes time to process. We're going to have a look at that. Alexa, what is 20 times 39? 20 multiplied by 39 equals 780. Okay, so it was like a half a second so it 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 it, it, it can hit it responds quite click quickly um alexa who's better siri or alexa okay so you would have thought that like you know the google home pod the alexa and siri would probably all be working like against like you know kind of like war together oh, i guess that's the kind of the word because obviously they will want to be the better brands. They might be, but they put this on there because people are gonna like obviously gonna ask that because obviously there's three brands of um oh and is also Cortana as well, so um for Microsoft Surface. Um Is it a good is it has it got good volume? Um it can go pretty high actually, so we're gonna go take a look at that. So if we just turn it up. So it's pretty high. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play a song with it too high because it can blow speakers. That's a good tip for you guys, so don't do that. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to ask it to play a song. It might not play because I haven't set up my Spotify, but that's the bad thing about it. You need Spotify to do it. Um I do have Spotify, but I can't be asked to set it up. Um so um Alexa play levels by Avicii. Rest in peace. Okay, so it's a sample if you don't have it. It's a good song, guys. So Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. So, um, that's not the only thing I do. You can also play games. But the main thing I do want to talk about is Hive and Philips Hue. So, in, our, in my house, we have Philips Hue. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a type of light. Um, this is a Philips Hue light there. It's, it can... It's controlled by um, this switch here, and it can also be connected to the hive. And the hive is basically temperature in your house. Um, I haven't set my hue lights up yet um, on my phone, but I will do later. So basically, um, if you set yours up to hue or whatever lights you have, you probably say um, like Alexa, turn my lights up by one hundred percent, and then obviously see it will go up um, to maximum. So yeah. <coughs> so that's basically a little review on the Amazon Echo. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.